Uh, this is a Yamaha XJ550, well, with all the parts that are over there on the bench. But today I want to focus on the uh, front brakes. It has two disc brakes for its uh, wrist braking 50 horsepower. And uh, in the rear it's just a uh, drum brake, and that's fine. But uh, this thing has been in storage for 15 years because uh, one of the front calipers locked up and uh, no one really wanted to fix it and then it got set in the garage and uh, has been forgotten and uh, want to get it back on the road but um, let me show you the problem All right. This is the outside of the brake disc and you might already see that it changed a bit of color. If you take this thing as a silver reference, um, the disc is, uh, I would say, starting to turn a bit yellow or this uh, gold straw color. And on the other side, the brake pads really left a mess and uh, I kind of want to try to get it off of there. So the minimum listed thickness for this brake disc is 4.5 millimeter and uh, it is about 5 so we got about 2 tenths of a millimeter to come off of there if I'm able to get this thing in the lathe because uh, my chuck is too big to grab it from the inside, so let me maybe figure out something. So just hear me out. If uh, I make an arbor on this thing, where I clamp the brake disc in front of, I might just not die. I really should have cleaned this place. But well. Now this should uh, work properly. Yeah, okay. I overshot the diameter a bit. I have about half a mil of play. But that shouldn't really matter uh, since I'm only working on the plane side. Let's go for it. Could you give me a hand, please? Oh, damn it. Never mind. We're at 273. Uh, no, 237 RPM. And I'm not standing in front of this. That'll work for me.
So what you just saw was uh, basically just the turning tool taking off uh, the abrasive material that was stuck on it uh, from the brake pads and uh, I didn't really take a lot of metal off uh, only in areas like this where there was a uh, pretty substantial ridge uh, they're mostly gone now and I also hit it with some uh, scotch bright. I think I'm gonna cut it good here um, I don't want to take off any more material because I'm going to risk going past those uh, 4.5 millimeter and uh, also you can see well, you could also hear while turning um, that I have a lot more shiny spots here than for example here and uh, that's because uh, my setup isn't exactly the best I guess uh, and uh, I couldn't get it exactly running true and um, I guess uh, better have a bit of a dirty brake disc than one that's uh, different thicknesses uh, from side to side. Temperature wise uh, I mentioned that it had the uh, straw color because it got hot due to the stuck caliper. That shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, I think that's just uh, been heating up to around uh, 300 degrees Celsius. I think this will be fine and uh, in addition to that uh, I do this for myself not for anyone else. Uh, those are brakes, those things uh, save your life and uh, I don't want to screw with that uh, for another person but A, it's for me and uh, B, I'm going to be uh, testing these very uh, cautiously uh, when I get them on the bike. Uh, let's continue on with the brake calipers. So these are the old brake pistons um, and uh, they were stuck, both of them and uh, ugly things happened with uh, vice grips, blow torches and WD-40 I believe. So they live right in here. Uh, you have two grooves in there where the seals go. Just get them as clean as you can, you know. And I got these uh, Tour Max uh, repair kits uh, for anyone interested. They contain The two seals and a piston. I have seen the pistons being installed uh, like this, mm, but they were in here like this. Uh, I've seen it both ways, but it shouldn't really make any difference. Like, well, it's the same effective area for pressure one way or the other. Um, just if you put this on the inside, you'll have. Uh, way more air to bleed out, right? <laughs> Would probably be better to use like, to use uh, fresh brake fluid to lubricate the seals as you put them in. Uh -huh. Don't forget to put this in before you put the piston in, because at least when taking it apart, the piston was in the way. And I'm also gonna put some, some of this stuff in the OD here. That's the first seal we passed. Gonna try to get it by hand. Like that. And that should be it. Oh, also, I'm going to uh, take some of this and push it in there uh, to just keep water out when it's installed and uh, help help those seals maybe to be safe from corrosion for maybe another five years or one or not at all 
And for the two of you still watching, you can get these, uh, whatever they are, springs, I guess, uh, in there after you put the pistons in. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, you guys, if you've taken your brake cut up as a part, you know how to put it back together. Clean up your own mess. Just one more thing, I'm gonna clean the brake pads up on some sandpaper and wish them the best of luck. And yeah, that will wrap it up for the day, I guess. Um, maybe post your opinion on whether that's all trash I do here uh, down below. Uh, I'll be glad to hear about that. Um, I hope maybe you found that interesting and uh, it's gonna see you hopefully soon uh, in the next one. See you later.